Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about SoFi Technologies SOFI stock and why the SoFi stock price is falling right now. Then we're going to talk about how SoFi stock is a buy based on a specific key metric that is going to cause the overall market for SoFi Technologies to increase by a thousand percent, which is absolutely phenomenal. Then we're going to go over various statistics and how SoFi Technology plans to diversify their revenue channels and why this point right now might be a fantastic buying opportunity in the SoFi stock price, even though the stock price could be extremely volatile throughout 2022 and 2023. We're also going to be going over the latest price predictions from Morgan Stanley, as well as other analysts on the stock. And then finally, we're going to talk about how the recent economic environment is negatively impacting SoFi technologies and how they could experience somewhat of a slingshot effect, thus igniting the SOFI stock price once this gets under control. So for more videos like this one and for more stock news updates, on SoFi Technologies. Remember to go and smash that like button right now. Subscribe if you're new. Comment your thoughts down below. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So to start the video off, we're going to talk about why the SOFI stock price is falling right now. Well, honestly, the reason why it's falling is due to macroeconomic factors, as well as negative news regarding the student loan moratorium, which we will talk more about later in this video. However, overall, I think that the stock price is somewhat disconnected from the current fundamentals of the company in a very bullish way. So what I mean by this is that SoFi Technologies was able to grow their revenues by around 54% year over year, which is absolutely phenomenal. Any company that is growing their revenues by over 30% is absolutely extraordinary. And if we compare SoFi Technologies to other fintech and financial technology companies such as PayPal and Square, which is now called Block, they grew their revenues by around 13% and 29% respectively from their most recent quarter. If you didn't know, SoFi Technologies is a financial technology company that takes digitalization very seriously because they are digitalizing banking. They offer an all-in-one inclusive app that offers customers everything they could possibly need relating to finances. Whether that be gaining a personal loan, credit cards, debit cards, checking accounts, investing, student loan refinancing, and much, much more. They have a very large revenue base and they are maintaining very high growth. However, one of the reasons why SoFi Technologies is outpacing other very well-known successful companies such as Block and PayPal is because Block and PayPal already have very large revenues respectively. And this is why clearly their revenue growth rate is going to be smaller than what SoFi Technologies is bringing in because again, they're bringing in a growth rate of around 54%, which is absolutely phenomenal. But with that being said, SoFi Technologies is clearly a very competitive and even a market leader in the fintech space and their growth rates, both internally members, products, and their overall revenues and financials are fantastic. We see that their member growth has been very positive. And as you can see, we see this fantastic positive trend for their member growth and their overall product growth, which is very encouraging to see. So while the SoFi stock price is trading at a fantastic discount right now, I do find it disconnected from their overall fundamentals and financials in the sense that I think SoFi Technologies is a great buying opportunity right now and it's trading on the cheap. Another reason we know this is we see multiple insiders actually buying up more SoFi Technology stock, which we will talk about later in this video. I also wanna add that SoFi Technologies is not only improving their revenues and scaling very effectively, but they're also close to becoming a profitable company on a gap basis or a generally accepted accounting principles basis. And while we're on the topic of profits, SoFi has reported a gap loss of around 15 cents per share in the most recent quarter, which is really not that good. However, this was anticipated by their management in a previous earnings forecast. So that should not come as a surprise to investors. SoFi Technologies operates off of three main business segments, which would be their financial services segment, which is very unprofitable right now. Their lending business business segment, which is very positive right now, and the majority of the revenues come from it. And then they have their technology platform business, which is generating a decent amount of overall revenues. But luckily, the management has a plan to further diversify their revenue channels in the future. However, by 2025, the adjusted net revenue composition will be around 32%, 25%, and 43% overall. So clearly they are diversifying themselves by a very large margin to where their financial services segment, which we will talk about later in the video is set to grow to only 2% of the company's revenue to 32% of the company's revenue, which is absolutely phenomenal. This would mean that from 2020, where their adjusted revenues came in at around $621 million net adjusted revenue, that will grow to around $3.7 billion net adjusted revenues for 2025, which is staggering. That growth is absolutely phenomenal. So this is very positive news for the overall stock price. But something that could bring the SOFI stock price down even further is their stock-based compensation, which 
comes at a cost for investors because stock-based compensation, also known as SBC, leads to a rising share count, all else being equal, which is a dilution risk which lowers the overall SoFi stock price. However, even with that being said, jumping back to profits or profitability, their EBITDA, which is their earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization, according to analysts and financial reporters, is literally set to explode upwards in 2022 and beyond. But why is that? What particularly about the company is going to cause the overall EBITDA to skyrocket? Because right now, SoFi Technologies is trading at around a 70 times this year's EBITDA. However, their forward EBITDA for 2022 and 2023 is more accurately pegged at around 19 times, which is a substantial difference. So why is this? Why could we see this explosive growth? Well, it's due to this main key metric, which in my opinion and this author's opinion says that it makes SoFi stock a buy and this particular metric could grow by around 1000%. So let's dive into this article to see exactly what this is referring to. First, we're going to start off with insiders buying. One of the reasons why insiders are buying more SoFi stock is that the current stock price is low enough where insiders think that it's not risky to buy the stock right now because the stock has such good future growth ahead of it. And the normal reason why investors are buying a stock, especially on a massive scale, means that the current stock price is below what the stock price should be trading at. So it's really good to see how insiders, such as the CEO and other directors, are buying up their overall stock. We can see from the chart on screen that in March of 2022, we saw a load of investors buy the SOFI stock price. And even now we see some insiders buying the stock, which is really good news for investors. And this should give current investors in the SOFI stock great confidence in the overall company. Literally in the last three months, between SOFI directors, as well as their executive officers, including the CEO himself, they have bought around $8.87 million worth of SOFI shares, all of which have been bought up by insiders. So this could signal retail investors to also buy the SOFI stock price at such a cheap price right now, because currently the stock is trading at around $7.56 per share, which is absolutely phenomenal. SoFi is a market-leading fintech growth company, and it really does offer a one-stop shop for financial services, and this is why a plethora of analysts are very bullish on SoFi Technologies. The company's management actually states that with new revenue streams, the company expects its top-line growth to multiply six-fold by 2025 if we compare it back to 2020, which is absolutely insane. However, the news gets even better. There are short-term headwinds, which could push the overall SoFi stock price lower in price, which means that investors can even get a better price when they buy SoFi Technologies. Like we mentioned in our last SoFi video, the main market headwind is that President Biden extended the student loan moratorium, which has caused SoFi's projections for the revenues and earnings in EBITDA to lower substantially. So that's around $100 million lost, or at least cut off from their overall projections. However, the CEO of SoFi Technologies is still very optimistic, and when the student loan moratorium was extended, which means that students don't actually have to pay on their federal student loans, which drastically hurts SoFi's revenues because a lot of their revenues are coming from refinancing student loans, and because students have no reason to refinance their loans, this has affected SoFi dramatically. However, with that being said, the CEO is still very optimistic, and he even said, and I quote, SoFi has done an outstanding job achieving record financial results, member and product growth, and consistent profitability, despite the negative impact of the extended student loan payment moratorium. And we will work diligently to continue that trend in 2022, end quote. So overall, the CEO is still very bullish on the overall company. He is buying shares, and this should invigorate investors, and it should signal us to at least pay attention to SoFi technology stock, even if it drops lower in the short term, it's just a better buying opportunity based upon their future diversification among their revenue channels. Also, we see data from Lightyear Capital for the embedded finance space, and this is a space that SoFi Technologies operates in, and this space is anticipated to grow by 1,000% from now until 2025. The embedded finance space or the total addressable market for the embedded finance space is currently around $22.5 billion and that is supposed to grow to around $225 billion to $230 billion by 2025. So that's literally a 10x increase or a 1000% increase for this addressable market that SoFi is penetrating right now, which makes SoFi Technologies a fantastic beneficiary of this overall market growth and this is extremely exciting for the overall company. Now, with that being said, we have seen the stock price drop substantially recently, and the market headwinds are not over yet. So there is indication that the stock
stock price could drop lower in 2022 and even the beginning of 2023. However, after that, from 2024 to 2025, we could see the stock price absolutely explode from then on, if not sooner, depending on when the student loan moratorium will actually end, which will act as a fantastic short-term catalyst for the overall stock. But with that being said, right now seems to be a fantastic buying opportunity if you have not already invested into SoFi Technology stock. Now, if you are already invested into SoFi Technology stock and you originally invested at one of the high peaks, then you have to be careful not to overexpose yourself to a single company, even if you plan to lower or average down your average cost for this particular investment. I personally never allow my original investment into a single company allocate or have a portfolio weight of over 5%. So once I hit 5% portfolio allocation, I stop investing into the company and I just let it ride for the long term. But luckily, I still have room to average down my average price and my average cost basis for SoFi Technologies because I believe in this company over the very long term. Now, with the current stock price trading at around $7.69, we also have fantastic price targets from institutions as well as analysts. For instance, a Morgan Stanley analyst currently has a $10 price target over the next 12 months for SoFi Technologies, which means that there's a good amount of upside in the stock's current price over the next 12 months. However, with that being said, we have other analysts and other institutions that actually have a price target as high as $13, and these are more conservative because the more bullish analysts actually think that the company could achieve between $20 and $22 per share in the next 12 months. Luckily, we do have an approaching catalyst because in the beginning of May, we are anticipated to hear their earnings report, which I will report on so you all can stay up to date on their financial metrics. So speaking about their financial metrics, we already talked about earlier how because the student loan moratorium was extended and how SoFi Technologies said that they don't even calculate that the student loan moratorium will end in 2022, that means that this catalyst will take place in 2023. But regardless, this means that their full guidance for the year of 2022 in revenues is around $1.47 billion, and they also had to decrease their overall EBITDA guidance by around $80 million to now the new $100 million adjusted EBITDA. Now, with that being said, this is still overall good news because it didn't impact the company enough to really destroy the overall stock price because it's already trading at a giant discount. And this article highlights this perfectly. It says, and I quote, even with the decrease in guidance, particularly referring to the $1.47 billion of adjusted net revenue and the $100 million of adjusted EBITDA, SoFi is still expecting roughly 45% adjusted net revenue growth, which is phenomenal. Again, 45% is above our 30% compounding annual growth rate, or CAGR, which means that this company is rapidly growing. Also, they're going to double their adjusted EBITDA and triple their overall margins. So SoFi Technologies should have a fantastic full year of 2022. 2023 is going to be even better, and between 2024 and 2025, that's when we're going to see the fruit of their diversification as well as their new revenue channel. So overall, very good news for SoFi Technologies in the long term. In the short term, the stock price could be very volatile, going up and down very rapidly. But to me, the lower the stock price goes, the better deal it presents as a buying opportunity. But with that being said, always make sure to do your own research. This is not investing advice. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next YT video.